Hey you guys, thanks for tuning in to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your candy apples the same day without letting them sit out for 48 hours. And I'm also going to be showing you how you can make them without using any cornstarch. Okay, so first off, we're going to I have some boiling water here. And it's just water, nothing in it. We're going to let them boil for 8 to 10 seconds. 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now what we're gonna do? I have a bowl of cold water right here, and I'm just gonna take them out of the boiling water, and I'm gonna put them straight into that cold water. And what this does is get the wax off of your apples. So you won't have any bubbles and the cold water cools them off. So the faster they get cool, the faster you will be able to dip your candy apples. And you will see in the water, the white film is the wax that's coming off your apples. Usually when you do your apples, you would do this process. But you don't have to put them in the cold water. You just boil them for 8 to 10 seconds and you sit them out for 48 hours. Well, today we're going to be doing on the same day within two hours. So what I'm going to do is let these apples sit in this cold water for about two hours. I'm going to let them cool and then I'll be back with y'all. And we're going to get our candy apple mixture going and I'm going to be showing you how to dip them without using any corn syrup. All right, I'll be back. And don't forget to subscribe. Hey you guys, I'm back. My apples didn't quite take two hours to cool because my water was so cold. It only took them about 45 minutes. If you're not sure that your apples have cooled all the way, just let them sit an extra 30 minutes to an hour to cool if you have the time. The only reason I do this process is if I have an emergency order that is due that day and it's just has to be done that day and I didn't have time for them to sit out for 48 hours. That's the only way that I do this process. Other than that, I like them to sit out for 48 hours. Okay, so I'm going to tell you everything that I have and I will be using for the candy apples. I have the silicone mat. I have my apples. I've already put the straws and sticks in them. And I have two that's not sitting up really perfectly. And if you come across apples that, you know, are cricket and it's the apple, then you just turn it upside down and stick the sticks in and the straws in from the bottom i have my red food color in this weapons i have my measuring spoons i have my candy apple thermometer i have sugar a measuring cup and i also have white vinegar all right let's get started okay another thing i meant to mention before i get started on the candy minister is when i first started doing candy apples I could not figure out why my candy apples would break down around the top once I would do them and you know they would be good they would they would look pretty but they would break down very quickly around the top of the rim and I look on YouTube and I looked everywhere and I was trying to figure out why was they breaking down so quick around the edge of the rim and I learned it was because I was pressing them as meaning I was putting a stick in and a straw in and then I was dipping them right out there and not getting drying down in there really good. Because once you pierce your apple, that juice down in there, it settles when you after you dip them. And then it starts to break down your apple at the top very, very quickly. So when you do your apples, after you stick the straw and the stick in them, you want to make sure that you get down in there really, really good and that they're dry down in there. One thing that I do to make sure that they're dry when I, I, do, I clean my apples and then I will let them sit out a day and then I would pierce them. I will go ahead and put my sticks and my straws in them and then I will let them sit out that following day before I get ready to dip them. So, you know, it's best to let them sit out to 48 hours so then you have time, you know, for them to dry around the top and you don't have to worry about them breaking down really quick. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to put your two cups of sugar in your pot. Just one. And that's two. And the batch that I'm making, this is a small batch. It make you can do about 
say about six small apples and about four large apples. So if you have more than that or you have big apples, just double the batch. All right, so we have the two cups of sugar. I'm gonna do a half a cup of water. Half a cup of water. And we're gonna do two tablespoons of white vinegar. Well, I'm gonna do one tablespoon because this is a half a batch. I'm so used to doing the whole batch that <laughs> I was thinking I was doing the whole batch. Okay, so in this pot, I have the two cups of sugar, a half a cup of water, and a tablespoon of white vinegar. And you're just gonna stir it up real good. And as I was telling y'all in the beginning of the video, we're not using any corn syrup. So, I tried to find, when I started doing candy apples, I tried to find a recipe that didn't have any corn syrup. And it was hard to find one. So, I finally found a recipe that didn't have any corn syrup. And they turned out perfectly the same as if I would have used corn syrup. Alright, so, once you get that all stirred up real good, I'm going to turn my stove on to medium, which I have it on number 6 in between 5 and 7. And what you're going to do, you're going to make sure that you don't have any sugar around the edges of your pot. Well, around the, yeah, around the edges because the sugar around there will keep it from crystallizing. All right, so what I like to do, I just get, I usually just go to my sink, take some water and just wipe down around the rim to make sure there's no sugar around the rim. I usually do it at the sink, but I'm doing it out of the cup so y'all can see what I'm doing. And that's it. And we're going to let that cook down till it gets to 300 degrees. And when it gets to 300 degrees, I will return and we will start dipping. All right. Let me put my candy apple thermometer in there. And you want to make sure that it doesn't touch the very bottom of the pot because you will get an accurate reading. So once that hits 300 degrees... I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. And I just started putting my food coloring in there. And I, I, I like to put my food coloring in at the end. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more white. And a little bit more red. You can also put your color in before you start your candy mixture. It's up to you once you figure out, you know, if you rather put it in at the end but when you put it in at the end you do have to work very quickly because your mixture will thicken up and if you put too much food coloring your mixture will thicken up so I think I want a little bit more red to get that color to And 
and this is very hot so you do have to be careful I'm running out of white, so I really had to stretch it. But I think that's gonna be it. And I think that's good. The color is good. So I started up real good, and after the bubbles has. Dot down some. We're gonna dip. Okay. So I like to turn my pot to the side. And oh, I didn't mean to. And I try to cover my whole apple all right and I'm just gonna sit it on my silicone mat and I'm gonna go to the next one Trying to get it where y'all can see. I'm sorry. There we go. Move this out the way. And now I'm just gonna dip the next one. That's why I like to do a double batch because I like to have make sure my top get covered. And the more mixture you have, the more you have to work with. And it's easier to cover your top. I like my whole apple covered. And just sit it on your mat. Okay, those are the ones that I've already dipped. And this is the last one. And as you can see, there's no bubbles. And look at that shine. Perfect candy apples without having to sit them out for 48 hours or use any corn syrup. All right, I'm gonna show y'all again how they look. No bubbles. Perfect, pretty candy apples without using any corn syrup and not having to sit them out for 48 hours. And the shine. Isn't that pretty? Alright, so if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will be uploading videos at least. I'm going to try to at least upload them three times a week. So, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the bell below to notify you every time I upload a video. And I'll see y'all later.